Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks and here I have the Yoga 2 Pro and I'm going to go over some quick benchmarks that I ran just to see what the Core i5 has well. That was the U4200 CPU up to 2.3. So let's just flip this over into tablet mode and take a quick look. So we ran the Crystal Dismark scores. Um, yeah, you can see that they're pretty good, especially the core, 4K write. I'm pretty impressed by that. And if we go on over and take a look at, what else did I want to show you? 3D Mark 11 here. So this is actually kind of as expected. Um, we have a score of 681, which is what you've been seeing. Uh, well, Steve, Steve's here about running the camera for me, so it's, it's, it's what he's been seeing on some of, other, some of his other Haswell tests. But what I wanted to show you that I thought was pretty, pretty different was here on the Cinebench. So we haven't seen, oh, oh, I'll come back here. We haven't seen a OpenGL score that high, so 21.8. Usually we're seeing around 16 to 18 frames per second on OpenGL. And the CPU uh, for Ivy Bridge was scoring around 2 to 2.3. So obviously when Core i7 comes out, then we'll see higher numbers on CPU score here. So Cinebench actually measures the computing of the CPU. And what's interesting with the OpenGL, right, since that's clearly a graphics moment, we're seeing it at 21 frames per second, um, which is higher than what we've seen on other 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 ultra books but what's interesting is is that this score is around what we've seen in ultra books with discrete graphics so what which which graphics card was it the, uh, the gt 640m the gt 640m uh, yeah was, was getting about that score um, so that's the last generation GT, uh, GT series, but that still shows you that uh, yeah. potential. There's a lot of potential. So actually, Steve, Steve and I were having a, a discussion about why the Cinebench score may be higher uh, here than on other units, and then the uh, direct the 3D Mark 11 was kind of where we came in as expected. So there, if if you guys have a you know a uh, solution to why this score was so high but the 3D Mark 11 kind of came in as expected. Our working theory is that maybe the turbos, turbo boost kicked in uh, for this one on the Cinebench and then on the longer tests on the 3D Mark 11 uh, maybe it heated up then it had to go you know turn back off. That's our working theory right now so if you guys have a different theory about why the CPU may be acting like that we'd love to hear it in the comments. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the entire glorious 11 minutes Maybe I will speed up some of it, <laughs> I might speed up some of it, <laughs> of the 3D Mark 11. So if you guys want to see how it performs, I won't speed it up. I'll just put it in whole. But that was uh, my quick look at some of the quick, quick benchmarks on the new Haswell processor. And enjoy the benchmarks for uh, 3D Mark 11.
bright side of my nails off. Thank you. 